Most churches have a presence on social media, but are still doing social all wrong. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you a simple social media strategy that every church can use. Well, hey there, I'm Brady Shearer from ProChurchTools.com, helping you seize the 167 hours beyond your Sunday service. We publish new videos every single week, so make sure you hit the subscribe button below. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button as well. Uh, social media should be important to your church for one simple reason attention. The average adult spends about six hours per week on social media across all demographics. Seven out of every 10 American adults is on Facebook. The opportunity that social media presents our churches is tremendous, and yet churches continue to be confused by how to best use social media. So let's fix this confusion if we can. The best place to start is with this simple question. What would your church post online if your Sunday service didn't exist? I'll ask it again. What would your church post online if your Sunday service did not exist? Because this is the question you need to ask yourself to really begin to understand social, how it works, and how to thrive on it. So let's back things up a little more. What is your church's mission statement? Why does your church exist? What is the driving force behind what your church is trying to accomplish? If you're like most churches, your mission statement is rooted in the Great Commission, the greatest commandment, or some combination of the two. Your church's mission statement can be summed up like this, love God, love people, and make disciples. So if that's the starting point for what your church is trying to accomplish, how can we accomplish that mission statement on social media? What would your church post online, and how would you accomplish your mission statement if your Sunday service did not exist? And the reason this question is so important is because we use our church services and events like crutches on social media all the time. Instead of developing an actual content strategy, instead of posting native media that's valuable on its own, we just point people to our events and services. Instead of meeting people where they already are, where the average adult spends more than six hours every single week, we try to get them to meet us somewhere else. Come meet us at our weekend service instead, we say. Imagine meeting someone for the first time, shaking their hand and saying, look, come by my house Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. and I'd love to tell you all about myself. Or imagine meeting up with a friend and saying, man, I have got some big news to share with you, some great news. Come by my house on Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. and I'll tell you all about it. Well, that would be absurd. Your friend would respond and say something like, well, we're both here right now. Why don't we just talk about it now? What would your church post online if your Sunday service didn't exist? This is the starting point for developing a social media strategy that works. This doesn't mean you should never post about your church's events or your church services, but it should be a small fraction of what you're doing on social. So start with your church's why. What is your mission statement? And then figure out a way to accomplish that online, aside from your services, aside from your events, aside from your weekends. If you liked this video, make sure you hit the like button below and definitely subscribe to the Pro Church Tools channel. We post new videos like this one every single week, helping your church seize the 167 hours beyond your Sunday service. If you've got questions or comments, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.